everyone here at the Oris booth with Rolf, their CEO. Rolf, good to get on camera with you finally. Yeah, it's good to have you here, Teddy. It's great to be here in Geneva, watch some wonders. The whole city is brimming full of watch energy. And yeah, I'm glad that we, we can talk Oris now. Talking energy. We have to start here. Yeah, absolutely. The Kermit. Where did this idea come from? Before we go into the actual watch and talk about it, where did you get this idea? Where did this come from? Because it is, it made a statement. When I first saw this, I think people, it got people talking. So could you give us a little bit of background about how this piece came to be first? Yeah, absolutely. Pro Pilot X Kermit Edition. It's the highlight for us of this show. And well, yes, you know that we as a brand, we are about to make people smile. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what we try to do in all the aspects, in watches, in communication. That's really uh, what we do. And the Muppets, they do exactly the same, right? They are here to give you that little break in your day, that um, moment of dream and moment of relaxation. And um, that's why it's really shared philosophy. Oris and the Muppets and uh, then Kermit is just a great guy. Just overall great guy. <laughs> great fit to Oris, you know, it's not easy being green, it's also <laughs> not easy being independent, it's mm -hmm. not easy being sustainable, mm -hmm. so we really feel that relation and uh, yeah, I think the watch turned out fantastic. Coming in a familiar pro pilot case, but striking green dial and the star of the show or the frog of the show is the date window at Absolutely. six o'clock showcasing Kermit on that one specific day, yeah. so it's a nice surprise as that changes. The reaction has been great, uh, caliber 400 on the inside, very wearable case, lightweight. Stunning, the stunning watch. Glad and it's like fun. It. It's fun, and it's as you said, it's not taking yourself too seriously, but still making a statement. You saw the extension of this family of watches last year. Now seeing this coming with having some fun on top of that, add some flavor. It's a great new addition. Yeah, and I'm glad that it is received so well. And you're right. You know, we are very serious about watchmaking, mm -hmm. but not so serious about ourselves. And I think that's what this industry needs. And I think also our customers. They feel that, that it's really about the product. And yeah, Kermit just helps us to get the message out there. And whenever I look at the watch, it makes me smile. And I hope many people will feel the same. It's wonderful. Moving along to another piece, I would say this is probably the second watch that's been a big focus yeah. at the show, the, the new altimeter. Could, yeah. you, could you walk us yeah. through this as well? Yeah. Give us some of the features, the highlights? Yeah. Well, the altimeter has been in the Oris range for a number of years, mm -hmm. and we are the only um, brands having a mechanical altimeter in an automatic watch. And yeah, we gave it quite some updates. First of all, we increased the range from 4,500 meters to 6,000 meters. Mm -hmm. And um, then we made the watch slimmer by having a slightly um, slimmer movement by working on, 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 on the size of that movement. And then what is really outstanding here is that this case is um, 3D carbon printing. So this is the same extension with the Coulson we saw, yeah, like same exactly. technology you're utilizing yeah, here as well. Exactly. We use that here again and we are the only brands that can do that. And by 3D printing that case, you can really um, take full advantage of um, the qualities of carbon fiber because we can influence how these um, carbon fibers are positioned. Therefore, we can really have the strength of carbon where we need it, and the lightness of carbon where we need it, and yeah, making for uh, this, I think, beautiful case, and also the haptic of it is, uh, is fantastic. The metal elements are in titanium. We can screw into the carbon fiber material directly, so we don't need a container, adding to the lightness of the watch. 47 millimeters, still, I think, it sits nicely on the wrist. And with the light weight, it does help. And for somebody that either is a pilot, maybe they are doing some exploring, some hiking, you know, potentially it's this could be... A lot of people are in the mountains. Of course. They use it. And mm -hmm. on um, many points, you have uh, the altitude indicated. So if you need to calibrate the mechanical altimeter, which basically is a barometer, mm -hmm. um, they can do that. And yeah, it's just a tool for people that are outdoors, uh, flying a plane or hiking or climbing, uh, whatever they want to do. What was the process for creating this technology to make these cases? I mean, this is probably a long process, right? I mean, it took some time to develop? Yes, uh, actually we work 
with um, a company that is a spin-off of ETH, which is the Swiss mm -hmm. MIT. Mm -hmm. And um, they developed that 3D printing mm -hmm. um, technique. It's used in aviation. Mm -hmm. And now for the first time it is used uh, with watches. And hmm. we are very proud and excited um, to be um, the first at the moment only watch brands that can do that. Wonderful. This is my favorite model family from Oris. I just love the Big Crown Pointer Date collection. It, there's just something about it. It's a unique complication. It has some versatility involved. It's contemporary, but also traditional. It's just that perfect middle ground. This is a 473. So could you walk us through this piece a little bit more? This is a yeah. model that's been out for a little bit more time, but it's one of my favorites in uh, you know, recent months and from, from your brand. Well, it's the same for me. And as you see, yeah. it's, it's the watch I, I wear. Uh -huh. It's really, this, this, this watch is very close to my heart mm -hmm. because it says so much about Oris. Over decades, we have been making Point of date, small second movements, um, hand winding. Mm -hmm. That in the 40s, 50s, that was the core of our business. Mm -hmm. Point to date always was the signature or his complication. In 2020, we launched Calibre 400, five days power reserve, mm -hmm. 10 years warranty, 10 years service intervals, anti magnetic. And now we are bringing back that original movement, point to date, small second hand winding with the qualities of Calibre 400 mm -hmm. and we added power reserve indication on the case back, something that I personally just love and always wanted to have and I am so glad to have that now in Calibre 473. It's very nice because also the power reserve indicator is there when you need it and when you're dealing with these long reserves it's nice to have that at your disposal but it also doesn't break up the symmetry of this you know, very Absolutely. perfect looking dial in terms of its balance. And finally, the Aquas. The Aquas has become, before we just look at this new model, can we just talk about what the Aquas means for Oris? Because it seems to be in the last decade that's been like, in the United States, where I'm from, the model so many people are introduced to first from the brand. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Aquas is our most important family, I guess because Aquas really is um, a watch that you can wear every day, whatever mm -hmm. you do, if um, you're at the beach or in the office, the Aquas always um, looks good. A lot of our um, things we did with sustainability are um, centered around um, the Aquas family. I think New York that's Harbor, the upcycle, we've seen those. Uh, absolutely, mm -hmm. right. Um, coal restoration, mm -hmm. uh, great battery, all these things, um, that what. And I think that all, that is also an important part of um, of the message of that family. And yeah, now with Calibre 400, it's just at that other level um, of mechanics also. So yeah, it's uh, and this is bringing it into a 43 millimeter uh, case. Yeah. So this is uh, extending that family and. I always say this with the Aquas is you've seen the trend of, and you have this with your you know, Diver 65, you have many brands that lean into the heritage, vintage inspired look, uh, which you of course can claim uh, you know, name to as well. But the Aquas kind of represents that contemporary form yeah. of modern dive watch, yeah, yeah. especially within its segment. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's really where I think it's in its sweet spot. But Rolf, thank you very much for this sit down, thank going through it. these pieces and uh, giving us a little bit more of the uh, things to know. It was a pleasure, thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. you. Thanks. Hey, everybody.